how are you all hope you are doing good today i want each and every one of you to observe this pictures and think why do tigers have stripes second why do giraffes have a long neck kindly think i am sure you might have arrived with the answer tigers have stripes this helps them to survive in the tropical forest and grassland as they can easily hide for their prey giraffes have a long neck with this they can eat the leaves on the trees not only that it is also as a competition for food this tiger stripes this long head basically are adaptations of animals so today we are going to study about animal adaptations my objective is the students are able to define adaptation next to differentiate the types of adaptation what is adaptation it is a gradual change that occurs in the body parts and also in the behavior of organism why do they do this which helps them to adjust in the surroundings such changes are called adaptation so adaptation is a special skill which helps animal to survive in the environment adaptation are of two types structural and behavioral adaptation structural adaptation the change in body structure of an animal is called structural adaptation examples that we are going to study today is camouflage mimicry bent hind limbs sharp teeth and claws and other body structures so structural adaptation is the change in body structure of an animal what is behavioral adaptation the way is an organism act it is actually an instinct or a response made by the organism to help them survive in the environment the examples that we are going to study about behavioral adaptations are migration hibernation warning calls hunting in packs so let's study the types of structural adaptations the first one is camouflage or coloration what is camouflage it is nothing but blending with the environment for protection from predators or the attack of prey what is predators predators are animals that live by killing and eating other animals and what is prey it's an animal eaten by a predator basically it is a helpless or unable to resist the attack and it is a victim so predator is the one who kills and prey is an animal that is been killed so animals camouflage to disguise their appearance usually to blend with the surroundings why do they do that so that they can hide from the prey hide from the predators and second is to catch the prey you can see here examples you can see the first picture a frog is hiding how it is blended its color with the environment and second picture you can see the snake and you can see some more examples of camouflage you can see the butterfly you can see the frog you can see the lion how they blend with the environment so these are the examples of camouflage we'll move to the next one that is mimicry 
mimicry is nothing but copying a behavior or appearance you are copying someone and you are trying to be like them the example that is shown here is the monarch butterfly and the viceroy butterfly the monarch butterfly does not have the black lines crossing over the veins but can you see the viceroy butterfly it has the black lines crossing over the veins now when we compare this two butterfly the monarch butterfly is poisonous monarch butterfly is poisonous so birds when they eat the butterfly they are uh, uh, they do not know which one is the right thing they if they eat the monarch butterfly by mistakenly they fall sick because it is poisonous another example can you see this can you guess what is in the left side of the picture yes it is an owl butterfly owl butterfly mimics owl eyes very efficiently just to protect itself okay hope you are clear with mimicry will move ahead bent hind limbs the hind limbs are bent for the prey so that they can run fast to escape like the dog rabbit predators the legs are bent so that they can run fast to catch the prey example tigers lions cheetah and the uses for locomotion as well as for protection teeth plant eating animals have flat teeth and meat eating animals have sharp teeth plant eaters herbivores meat eaters carnivores and or omnivores okay so plant eaters such as giraffe or zebra they have flat teeth lion tiger cheetah they all have sharp teeth next claws they have claws for a firm grip and also to hold the prey tightly okay so they have claws for this reason next eyes prey they have eyes on the side and predators they have eyes facing forward to find the prey now prey example like frogs they have eyes on the side predators like lion cheetah owl they have eyes in the front so basically they can attack now cows horses chicken zebras they have the prey so they have the eyes on the sideways and predators monkeys tigers owls they have eyes in the front so these are the structural adaptations now let's move on to the types of behavioral adaptations as we have learned it is an instinct or response to an environment based on the climatic condition the first one is migration seasonal or periodic movement of animals in response to changes in climate or food availability or to ensure reproduction the examples that is given here is geese geese they migrate in order to access as many resources they need they breed in the north and fly south to avoid the cold so whenever it is winter they fly to the south in summer they come back to the north whales in the summer during the summer season they migrate to the cold waters because the food is abundant and in winter they migrate to the warm water why the reason is for mating and breeding purpose so migration is an instinct behavior hibernation it is an adaptive winter survival where animals become inactive and all body processes slow down so during the summer they are very active and during the winter season they are inactive during the winter season there is a low metabolic rate less temperature less heart rate less breathing and thus there is a less need for food too so hibernation is basically during the winter 
they are their body processes slow down examples bears chipmunks squirrels bats snails all this animals hibernate during winter animals live in group yes they live in groups for protection and to avoid getting eaten by predators not only that if they are in a group they can hunt for more food examples fish wild beast walrus and the last some of the animals play dead means they act like they are dead why do they act like that so that no one will harm them thinking that they are dead example snakes and possums they act like they are dead threatening gestures these threatening gestures are to scare off the predators okay so hope you have understood the behavioral adaptations too now i have an assessment for you answer the following first define adaptation second state the types of adaptation please write the answers in your notebook i have an interesting task for all of you this year 2020 has been a different year for all of us so i want each and every child to list a few behavioral adaptations you have made in the year 2020 hope you all enjoyed today's session thank you children have a nice day bye bye